Hello Scorpios, welcome to your horoscope for March 2023. So on the third of the month you have Mercury going into your fifth house. This is the house of relationships and children. This could be time where you're spending more time with your children, sorting things out with relationships, communicating a lot easier and a lot better and so more free, free flowing movement. On the eighth You've got Saturn going into this fifth house as well. Saturn can, I always say Saturn is the planet of problems. So it's going to be there for the next two and a half to three years. This can indicate there could be some issues coming up in this area over during this time. On the 17th, you've got Venus going into your seventh house. That's good for relationships. Um, you might be meeting someone new. Romance is blooming around you. Um, it could also be that you're getting along better with the current partner that you have if you're in a relationship. The 20th of, of March, Mercury goes into that sixth house. That can be a good time um, for looking at your health, getting some results, and even thinking about your health and how you can improve it. On the 24th, Pluto's moving into your fourth house for three months and then next year moves in there permanently for 20 odd years. So Pluto in the fourth can indicate a lot of moves, a lot of changes in the home. It can mean a lot of endings as well. Pluto, you gotta deal with endings with Pluto. So it's it's also, it's death and transformation. So we could be looking at a lot of like new move, as I said, like moving, changes within the family. And it could be some things ending within family and to do with like your home as well. On the 26th of March, Mars goes into your ninth house. This is the house of travel. With Mars going in there, you might be more motivated to go out and um, study or even looking at some sort of spiritual courses. This also could be time for traveling as well with that because Mars is it's a very much motivation. It's also strength. It also can be issues. So there might be conflict or frustration come up in this area like perhaps you may not be able to study what you're wanting to study or something some hiccups along the way for that when we look at the cards here scorpios i feel like there's some fiery passion coming up here with relationships for you it's kind of like you're feeling like very passionate about someone or a lover this could be like a, a new a new relationship blooming around you or you're just feeling that passion in the air and it's like you got that feeling where you could also be a bit clumsy like you're that much in love like though i'd in love that you're a bit clumsy not knowing where you're going it's kind of like your head's in the clouds a little bit um you're a little bit lost for words with this relationship it is like taking you back a little bit and you're remembering like there's good good times coming ahead i feel like that in the relationship that it's just there's a certain like spark happening in relationships around you at the moment for this month here and it even could be like um for some of you who are trying to mix things up but there's also an element of maybe it's a secret or maybe it's like a secret fling or a fling where you're trying to sort of move around in a secret way it is i feel like if this relationship is true it will stay it will stay long lasting if it's a fling like a passionate fling with the heart and i feel like the fire may burn out quite quickly um when we go to your, I want to say too, just to watch your footing. I feel like there could be an issue of not watching where you're going or be a bit of clumsiness this this month as well. When I look at your earnings here, Scorpios, I kind of feel like you've gotten some sort of pay rise or there's some promotion coming up here for you. I feel like it's it is a job well done. Like you've been you're doing working very hard and the hard work's finally being paid off. You're starting to really shine what you're doing and you're very confident in what you're doing. You know your job back to front. Um, sometimes this could be getting a bit boring, but I feel like in your case, you're quite comfortable where you are. And I do feel like it's quite a good energy for you to be moving forward in. You're, you're on stable ground and there's something around you that does feel unstable and I feel like that's where your finances are coming in, like maybe your savings. I feel like 
that there's not as been as much savings you had liked or you had hoped to put putting away and I feel like things are starting to get a bit costly for you. I do feel like it's time that you started to it's like you need to share things around or you won't have to not go out as much. I just feel like there's a bit of um, unstableness to do with savings but it's about cost cutting I feel like with you guys. Looking at friends here. I feel like there's a, the friends bit out of balance here. I feel like there's one friend that's weighing on you. There's a bit out of balance here. You need to bring it back into a line. That person's costing you a bit of boundaries. And you need to like, it's giving you a step back and you're trying to get back to the way you need in your boundaries. Um, you will by the end of the month, but it could be, just be careful of the conflict. It might come up some conflict here with that. I went and looking at the travel. I feel like you're having to trust spirit this month. I do feel like for those of you who like workers or maybe you are a psychic or yourself or just having good intuition, it's going to be like blind faith or blind trust in trusting your guides, in trusting what you're getting from the, from spirit. It's it's going to be like, I feel like, um, you can copy and paste, but I just feel like it's a bit like you're trying to really you're just going to have to trust and have faith that you're getting the right messages. I just feel like it's a thing about testing your faith this this month. Um, doing, where are you going with your family? I want to say with family, with your siblings, there is a bit of um, charge. So I want to say like a bit of like a bit of conflict here with family, with siblings coming up this month. A bit like you're on guard or you're ready to charge. I want to say just try to be patient and think before you react because you're reacting a bit too fast. Um, I want to say too with the family, you are looking at doing like spring cleaning or improving the home in some way. You're cleaning up around it, making it more desirable or like livable. But you're like, I feel like it's a lot of like um, touch ups that you're doing around the home this month. Okay, look at your health. Let's have a look. I feel like you're showing a lot of courage this month here, Scorpios. showing a lot of courage there may be something I feel like could be to be back issues I am feeling like as I said I'm not a doctor and if there's something wrong please go and see one but what I feel up I do and for some reason I'm feeling up like sort of around sort of middle around the back I am feeling like for you guys I just get a, a channel for you Scorpios Scorpios this is a month of not to be reckless but stick to the script and stick to the line you've all got very You've all done your job very well this month and you have done pleasing to yourself. You're both excited for where you're going to go for the months ahead. For you're now being rewarded for you know your job back to front. Everything seems to be falling into line and be very simple. On the romance front, you seem to have got it together. However, a uh, fling in the, with the wrong person could be disastrous in this area. Okay. Thank you for your likes, shares and your comments and I will see you for my next video. So bye for now.